guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression and review over the Viseart or Visart Little Pro Palette? Le Petit Pro Palette. It's just a very tiny credit card size palette and I did this look with it, which is very simple, nothing revolutionary, but I wanted to show what the shadows could do with just a normal everyday look that I would do. One thing I will say, which I touch on at the end of the video, this does retail for $30 and I did find that this brand is cruelty free, so that's amazing, and they are based in Paris, or France. I don't know if it's actually Paris, but it's in France. But yeah, if you're interested to see how this palette applied to the eyes and my first initial thoughts, just keep on watching. Alright, I'm going to start with this light base shade. And this is just a flat shade of the brush. I'm going to apply this to my brow bone. I already primed my lids and set, the, set that with um, powder. It's not too, too white, but it will work for what I am doing. So now with a ColourPop blender brush, I'm going to go in with this matte brown shade. So far, there's not like too much kickback. Um, you can kind of see powder on top of the shadow, but it's not getting messy. And I'm going to put this in my crease. That's blending out so nicely. I don't know how well it's translating on camera, but so far, I'm impressed. And this is like a darker shade. It's not um, like my typical transition shade, but it's working beautifully. I've had high hopes with this palette um, because Viseart is known to be so expensive. It's like you're gonna charge that much, you might as well, you know, be the best. Now with a Luxie 229 brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is a nice ruddy brown. I'm gonna put this right on the outer edge. I'm not doing something too extravagant because this palette is very neutral. Probably going to turn into like a dark smoky eye or something. These are just blending so beautifully. I'm impressed. I really want to get the um, one of the $80 palettes. Just taking a little more of that first brown in the crease. And I'm just going to go in with a blender brush from BH Cosmetics with no additional product. And just blend above. Just to really help diffuse the edge. I'm taking this little pencil brush from Crown. I'm going to go in with that darkest shade and just deepen the outer V just a little bit. Very, very pigmented. Holy crap. So now I'm just taking the Luxie brush again just to blend before going in with a lid shade. For my lid, I'm actually just going to go in with this lighter shade and I'm just going to use my finger, I think. Very pretty color. It's not like a like metallic metallic shadow, it's a shimmery shadow. I think it would be more metallic if you wet your brush for applying. I'm actually going to see what this looks like with a... Brush. I'm going to be using this Morphe E19 brush. Pick a little bit up. Brushes and fingers kind of look the same. I'm going to go back in with that ColourPop brush and reblend the crease. I do have some fallout. Just going to quickly wipe that away. With a Milani crease brush, I'm going to go in with the brown shade and probably mix in a little bit of the ready brown for my lower lash line. And then work on connecting that to the top. I'm going to go back in with this little pencil brush again and the darkest shade and put that just right on the outer edge. With that little E19 brush again, I'm going to dip into the lightest white shade and pop that in my inner corner. I actually think I want to go in with another 
shimmer shade on my lid because I don't quite like how this one looks. So I'm going to go in with this one right here, which is more like peachy. Just blend that right on top. I'm going with some eyeliner. This is the Anastasia Dark Side Liner. I'm going to put on some mascara with the It Cosmetics Superhero one, and then I will be right back. All right, so overall thoughts on this is I really love the mattes. They are absolutely beautiful. They are so easy to blend out, as you can probably see in the demo thing. Shimmers, I've only I only tried the two, so I wasn't that big of a fan of them. But just the quality of these are insane. Like those are the mattes. So, so, so pretty. The mattes are absolutely fantastic. I really love this brown shade and this one right here. And even this one, which it's not a black, it's just a very, very deep brown. Beautiful. And then for the shimmers, which um, they are quite soft, but I don't know, there's just something about them. But that's those. They are very, very pretty, but they just weren't... Like, I don't know. Maybe they need to be applied wet. But those are them right there. They are very, very pretty. I really like this purple. The one that I ended up putting on my lid is very nice. And that gold is very uh, intense. But they are pretty. They have a nice sheen to them. It's just on the lid, you might need to like wet it to get that really sheeny metallic look. So yeah, what I have to say about Viseart is... This was $30. This is a little thing. This is actually the size of a credit card. I don't have a card that size that doesn't have, you know, numbers on it. So I can't like actually show you, but this is legit the size of a credit card. Like it's insane, but it is so tiny and cute. Like just look at it. It's so cute. And it's, you know, it's like an everyday little palette because you get a matte um, cream shade, white shade, whatever, and then you get nice neutral colors, and then you get a pop of shimmer, which is always nice. Perfect for an everyday look. One thing I will say though, these pans are loose. Um, let me see if I can show you. You see how that's moving? Oh, and then that just popped out. It is magnetic, but it just, it moves a little more than like a normal magnetic one would move, I guess. So that threw me off a little bit, but do I think this is worth $30? Uh, I think that would depend on who you are. If you're like me, who has been dying to try Viseart, or Viseart, however you pronounce it, for the longest time, $80 for one palette is a little, a little insane. So spending $30 to try out their shadows was like a steal for me and this personally is like it's the Le Petit Pro palette and it was like inspired by the Le Petit Bronze, Brent, whatever. I suck at speaking French but I know it. But yeah, it was just something I was really interested in and yeah, these shades are probably totally dupable with color and everything but the quality of the mattes is insane and like I am definitely going to pick up one of their $80 palettes soon. So yeah, there's that. I do think it's worth it if you've been wanting to try Viseart, but if not, maybe just skip over it. You can get like a Morphe palette or some Anastasia shadows or even Makeup Geek shadows and you probably wouldn't miss out on it, but being like in the makeup community like I am and just collecting a crap ton of makeup, this was something I absolutely wanted. So I do think it's worth the $30 with some stipulations. Hope you guys like this little demo slash review type of thing. I'll let you know in the description box how this wears throughout the day because it is, what time is it? It is just noon now and I have to work until nine o'clock tonight. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how this holds up. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go and buy Resident Evil for Jeff because he needs so many more video games. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like these sort of like first impression review type of things, let me know down below. Let me know which products I should do that on. I have one more coming up 
this week over the pastel goth palette by Kat Von D probably but yeah I hope you guys like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys all in my next video bye